how to make a great engaging video in Movavi Video Editor so it gets tons of likes and hardly anyone skips it. Today I'll be showing you video editing tips and tricks you can use when making your projects in Movavi Video Editor Plus. And as an example, I'll take this sweet Saint Valentine's video I've made in this wonderful program. Hi everyone, my name is Roman, you're watching Movavi Vlog, your go-to channel for making great videos. And in today's episode, I'll try to prove that sometimes great videos can be created even out of pretty ordinary footage, just by creative editing approach. Since it is Saint Valentine's Day coming, love and romance was the only thing I could think of when I was making this episode. And I decided to pick, if you allow me to say so, this genre of February the 14th video as an example for today's topic. So what exactly I did was I came across this old home footage me and my girlfriend Alice made last summer in our backyard. It's basically me and her fooling around, never intended to use this footage anywhere. As you can see, not much camera person work, right? Just boring tripod shots, two people having fun. I even forgot to check the mic before recording, so the original video is soundless. Jeez. But then I got an idea. I still like this video because of the natural romantic vibe it brings, so I thought, why not try to take this footage and use the might of Movavi Video Editor, little editing tips and tricks, you know, to liven it up and make a great short Valentine's video. And I did. Of course, I will show you how I did it, but before we get to editing, I'd like to tell you something about a hot deal on the official Movavi website. A number of awesome software bundles and effects are available for users at great prices again. But today our team wants to show you a bundle that includes Movavi Video Suite 2021. Pickverse, the brand new photo editor by Movavi, and the holiday effects set. You'll be able to get this very bundle using an additional discount from the Movavi vlog team. So what is the coolest part of this offer? Well, Movavi Video Suite 2021 is a package of intuitive programs such as the latest version of Movavi Video Editor Plus, Screen Recorder, and Movavi Video Converter Premium. That means Movavi Video Suite will give you the opportunity to convert footage before editing, then edit it, add background music, pictures, titles and effects, or even record entire video tutorials from scratch. And with the help of the holidays effect set, you'll be able to make cool greeting videos for your family and friends in no time. If you need to retouch your photos before posting them to social media, Pickers, our brand new photo editor with smart tools, will help you improve your photos in just a few clicks. Our promo code will give you an additional 10% discount on top of the one that is already included in this hot deal. Hit the link below to proceed right to a page with our special price. And if you want to learn more about the other items on the sale, follow the link in the description. Ok, let's get down to video editing and practice. I create a new project in Movavi Video Editor Plus and upload the footage I'm gonna work with to the media library. It was a linear recording, I was simply turning the camera on from time to time while it was attached to a tripod and Alice and I were just fooling around in the backyard. So there isn't much of a story here, it's just a quick moment of our life, which is also fine. Not 
not all videos must tell a complex story. So I don't really need to change the order of the clips and build a sequence. What I got to do is trim the clips and cut the unwanted frames. Although I don't have a lot of original footage to work with, still I want my video to be dynamic, you know? So I only keep the most cinematic and vivid moments and make the clips very short. Yes, I am gonna use a lot of jump cuts here. After I'm done with trimming and rearranging the clips, I do my favorite trick that works almost always and instantly makes it all cinematic. And if you've been watching my while you vlog for some time, you'll guess it. I will add some slow motion. But wait, this is important. In order to have a truly cinematic slow-mo, you gotta use it smartly. If the original footage you work with is 24, 25 or 30 FPS and you try to slow it down, the program actually will slow it down. But you won't have enough frames per second, so the result will look like some kind of a slideshow. Luckily, that day it was very sunny and we were filming outside and I was filming with the high FPS, so actually it was 120 FPS. Crazy, right? This means that now in Mobile Video Editor I can make the footage not just two, but four times slower and still have 30 FPS after I export the video. To do this, I select the clips, go to the Tools tab, click Slow Motion and set the speed to 25%. This will make the footage four times slower and instantly bring the cinematic feel. Nice! The next step is unavoidable for making a cinematic video. Now after I've applied the slow-mo, selected the desired shots and arranged them in the order I want, I can bring in the music. Now music is very important because it is not only the strongest mood setter, which is especially great for Valentine's Day video, but also it serves as the foundation of a video and helps create the vibe. When you add music to your projects, always mind the copyright in case you're planning to use the video commercially or upload it to social media. You can always find some copyright-free tracks on sites like Epidemic Sound or in the YouTube Music Library. Or simply select the music from the built-in collection of Movavi Video Editor. All the tracks are completely copyright-free and for my project I stick with this ukulele track that sounds nice. After I drag and drop the chosen track onto the timeline, it turns out that is too long. Well, no problem. Gonna cut it here and delete the unwanted part. I'm okay with the very beginning of my track, but you can also easily cut any desired part of a track you choose and then use it as background music for your project. Don't forget to set up smooth fade in and fade out for the track. Almost always it works great. And you can do it here in the clip's properties and that will be the easy way. Or use the curves and volume points for more precise tuning. Now, the video already looks and sounds great and lovely, but let's not stop here. I'm gonna show you how I decorated it, added little details in order to get the most out of Movavi Video Editor. And to do that, I used an external effects pack from Movavi Effects Store, which is perfect for a themed St. Valentine's Day video. It's the Valentine's Day Effects Pack and it contains especially designed animated titles, stickers, backgrounds and transitions that suit my project perfectly. 
In case you are planning to surprise your loved ones with a themed Valentine's Day video as I am, check out what exactly this pack contains on the Movavi's official website and I'll leave the link in the description below. Now where do I start decorating? Right now, my video certainly lacks some romantic intro that would set the mood instantly. Let's fix it. I go to the Import tab and select Backgrounds. Here, among the built-in ones, I found the new backgrounds that were installed after I purchased the additional effects pack. Gonna stick with that one. Ok, now titles. I usually prefer simple, minimalistic titles, I'm not a big fan of animated titles, but in this case, I really want the intro of my video to be rich and attractive. So, I go to the Titles tab, choose the Valentine's Day category and stick with that one. Naturally, I customize the text on it, although it's already great. To do this, I drag and drop the template on the upper track above the background track, then I double click it and change the text in the preview window together with the size and position of the title if I need to. Beautiful! For now, there is a jump cut between my intro and the footage. And it's not bad at all, but I think I can use a transition. To find a great one, I go to the Transition tab. Again, I select the transitions from the external effects pack. Now all of them are lovely, but these two are probably too much, so let's stick with that one. In Movavi Video Editor you can use as many transitions, titles and backgrounds as you want and there are plenty to choose from, even from the built-in collection that already comes with the software. But everything is great in moderation, so I'm gonna keep those jump cuts and add only one or two more artistic transitions to my project, so it's not overloaded. And a few titles throughout the video to help me deliver my message and express my feelings. It's a Valentine's Day video after all. Although Movavi Video Editor features a great collection of stickers and I would be glad to use them in my project, it's important to feel the balance and know where to stop. When you add more and more details in your video, you have to know where to stop. So just look at these cute stickers, but still, I think I better avoid using them cause that would be too much. Almost forgot to tell you about the color correction. In Movavi Video Editor Plus you can find the color filters in the filter tab and also the ready-made LUTs in the color adjustments sections in the tools tab. Yet for this project I choose some very moderate manual adjustments. It was a nice summer day with beautiful light conditions, so the original shots turned out pretty good and I didn't want to spoil that by overdoing color adjustments. Now it's time to see what I've got in the end. I really hope you and most importantly Alice would like the video I've made. Keep my fingers crossed. Anyway, you can see yourself that even with very ordinary footage, you can make a great video using Movavi Video Editor and of course your creative approach. Thanks for watching this episode of Movavi Vlog. Please like it if you do like it, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell to be notified about the new episodes. My name is Roman, I will see you very soon.